Joining us here at the reception to celebrate the marriage of Cassidy and Jeremy here in Salt Lake City. We know some of you came from as far away as Alaska and Hawaii to be here, and we're just delighted you could be here for this special <laughs> evening. You're all probably uh, as amazed as I am that it took these two so long to tie the knot. But I think I speak for everyone in my family when I say that we're just ecstatic that Cassidy is now legally bound to Jeremy. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know me, it's obvious by now, but I'm Jeremy's twin brother, Christopher, and looking out into the crowd, I see a lot of old friends, friends that uh, grew up with the bride and groom of Ventura, California, but none of them go as far back with Jeremy as I do, except for my parents, but we all get that. Um, and that's why he gave me this great honor to give this best man speech, and also the opportunity to conquer my fear of public speaking. <laughs> uh, I met Cassidy after she and Jeremy began dating in uh, 2011? 2011! If that doesn't sound like it was a very long time ago to you, that was the year of Charlie Sheen's meltdown. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Cassidy God. and I met for the first time when we were just 15, which is wild to think about now, 13 years later. And she came to my family's house for dinner. They had been dating for a few weeks, but it took some time for Jeremy to develop the courage to bring Cassidy around our crazy family. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can see me at the bar after I'm done with this. <laughs> and then I can tell you about how crazy Cassidy's family is too. <laughs> in, in fact, that night, 15-year-old me and some buddies became a full-on hospitality service for the evening. <laughs> with the best service we could muster, we opened the door for Cassidy and escorted her and Jeremy to our dining table where we served them drinks and cooked them a delicious steak dinner, which was no small feat for a few young men. And even then, we could tell that Cassidy was a special girl. So we went to great lengths to ensure that her first visit to the Short family house was special. The wonderful thing to me about this wedding between Jeremy and Cassidy is the collective memories of people, places, holidays, and memories that we've shared for the last 13 years are now commemorated in their union, and it brings all of our old friends and family together tonight. Tonight, Jeremy's not the only lucky one. My whole family hit the jackpot welcoming this astonishing woman into our family. When I arrived to Salt Lake City on Tuesday, the bride and groom and I sat down at their place and caught up a little bit. At some point, after maybe a few beers, Cassidy brought out her box of memories of all the photos and letters that Jeremy had given to her over the years. And in this box was something that we had all forgotten about. In this box, there was a handwritten 17-page novella from March 19th, 2012, Recalling the first year of their relationship called The Story of Us. <laughs> the title of which may or may not have come from a Taylor Swift song. <laughs> so this may be embarrassing to Jeremy, but I'd like to leave you with a quote from the last page. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> okay. Quote, yes. This is the end of the book, but it is nowhere near the end of the story. <laughs> Happy one year anniversary, Cassidy. I hope there are many more to come and plug. So today, over 12 years later, I'd like to propose a toast to this new chapter in the story of Jeremy and Cassidy, whose new anniversary will now be October 19th, 2024. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.